Welcome to Bitbox Demos. On today's episode, we're going to show you how to set up Wi-Fi, how to pair a Bluetooth controller, how to map your Bluetooth controller, and then I also wanted to go over some important hotkeys for you to know in game. Okay, so let's start by showing you how to get into the main menu. You want to take a keyboard or the controller that's included with your BitBox and press the start button. This will bring you to the main menu. So to enable Wi-Fi, simply navigate to network settings. And for you, this will be defaulted to off. It should look like this. So to enable Wi-Fi, simply select enable Wi-Fi. Now, when you first enable Wi-Fi, IP address will say not connected. Internet status will say not connected. What you're gonna wanna do is select Wi-Fi SSID, select your network, then Wi-Fi key, and this is where you will input your Wi-Fi password. I'm obviously not gonna do that here, so I don't want you to see my password, and then simply select back. So to verify that you are connected successfully, simply go back into network settings, verify that there is an IP address populated and your internet status says connected. Simple as that. Okay, next thing I would like to go over is pairing a Bluetooth device. This is very easy. Shouldn't take you more than five minutes. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is press start to go into your main menu, controller and Bluetooth settings. Now what you're going to wanna to do next is whatever your Bluetooth controller is, put it in pairing mode. I like to use 8 Do. So in order to pair it, I press start on my 8 Do controller and then press the pairing button on top. Once my controller is in pairing mode, I simply select pair a Bluetooth device. You'll see that the BitBox is searching for any devices and now it is pairing to my controller and now my controller is connected. Um, it may say in the upper right hand corner, trusting and then your controller name. You can just disregard that. Your controller will still work. That will eventually go away. So next, um, in the same menu, I'm gonna wanna verify that my controller mapping is correct. I recommend you do this for all controllers. Um, some do work out of the box, but just to be, just to be safe, you're gonna wanna do this. This will also allow you to set a hotkey button, which is very important. So in order to, to map my controller, in the controller and Bluetooth settings, I simply select controller mapping, okay. Then I take my new device, the device I want to map, and I it says hold a button on your device to configure it. I will go ahead and do that. So mapping is very easy. Just follow the prompt on screen. So I'm going to want to set my A button, my B, my X, my Y, my start, my select, my up, my down, my left, my right, L1, R1, Left analog up, left analog left, right analog up, right analog left, L2, R2, L3, R3. Now for your hotkey, you're going to either want to select the select button, or if your controller has a dedicated extra button, I like to call it, I'll use that. So for example, on the 8-bit do, there is an extra button just to the right of the right analog stick. I like to use that as my hotkey button. But like I said, if you're using some type of like PlayStation, PlayStation 3 style controller, or if your controller just does not have that extra button, you can just use select here. But in this case, I have an 8-bit do, so I will use that button. 
then just hit OK, back, and exit out of the menu. And there you go. So now we've enabled Wi-Fi on the console, we've connected a Bluetooth controller, and we've mapped the buttons. <clears throat> With all of that finished, let's go ahead and go over some in-game hotkeys, hotkey combinations that will be helpful for you, help you get more out of your console. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and jump into a game. So the first hotkey combination I want to tell you about is saving states. Safe states are a modern convenience of emulation that allows you to basically take a snapshot of where you are at in the game. And then whenever you'd like, you can load that snapshot to continue from where you left off. This is very convenient for older games, arcade games that did not come with safe technology, such as you know, arcade games from the 70s, some early NES, Atari stuff, Sega Genesis stuff, Think of games that have passwords, such as, you know, the Mega Man games. This just makes it a lot more convenient to uh, save your progress and then jump back in where you left off. So, the first hotkey combination you need to know is to actually capture your state. So simply hold in your hotkey and press whatever key you have mapped to the Y button. As you can see, so now if I hit the hotkey and then whatever I have mapped to the X button, that should load my state. So saving my state, you can see in the lower left hand corner, the state is saved and then loading my state. And, <clears throat> excuse me, the final hotkey combination I wanna show you is simply exiting a game. To exit a game, Press the hotkey button, and then whatever you have mapped as the start button on your controller. One last thing to note before I end this episode is hotkey combinations will only work with the first controller that is connected to the device. The bitbox, since you don't have controller ports like on a traditional console, what the bitbox does is it recognizes the controllers in the order that they're connected. So for instance, if you're going to play a Nintendo 64 game that supports four players, the first controller you connect will be player one, the second controller you connect will be player two, the third controller that you connect will be player three, and the fourth controller that you connect will be player four. So an important note is that the hotkey combinations will only work with controller one. So that being said, I think we've covered everything I'd like to go over in this demo. You can also kind of think of this as a quick start guide. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to post them in the comments below or reach out to me on Discord if you're part of the private Discord server. Um, other than that, I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I hope you enjoy your retro gaming. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.